कमिंग टू आर टॉपिक जो हमारा बेसिक आज का टॉपिक है हिमेटोपोइटिक स्टेम सेल ट्रांसप्लांट या बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांट तो ये होता क्या है एक्चुअली वॉट इज बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांट क्या व्यक्ति का कोई सर्जरी की जाती है उन्हें बोन मैरो उनका बदला जाता है कैसे होता है ये सब सो बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांट इज इट सेल्फ मिस नॉमर सो बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल इवन इन द मेडिकल फील्ड अदर देन हिमेटोलॉजिस्ट दे कंसिडर बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांट because they don't they know more of bone marrow transplant so it is not a bone marrow transplant it is it is one bone marrow transplant is one of the modalities so basically in our body uh the hematopoietic system is there so that system is inside the bone marrow inside the bone so whatever marrow is there that is called as hematopoietic stem cell there all the stem cells which are there in our body they reside in the bone marrow particularly hematopoietic stem cells so what is mean by hematopoietic stem cells the d cells which give rise to the different components of the blood that is running in our veins vessels wbcs platelets and uh, other cells of the body all the cells are rooted from bone marrow so in the diseases uh, like for example i have to take some examples for examples a malignancy blood cancer which is not treatable only with chemotherapy we initially most of the diseases most of the blood cancers in children are treatable with chemotherapy alone they may not need a bone marrow transplant or bone hematopoietic stem cell transplant but <clears throat> there are uh, unfortunately some leukemias which initially are respond they respond to the chemotherapy but they relapse or there are some to begin with there are some high risk leukemias where bone marrow transplant can be done so what we do is because the defect is there in the hematopoietic stem cells there are there are there is not a very very specific reason for this blood cancer in pediatric age group or adults for that matter for some reason some stem cells get affected at different levels so just na uh, jaise pa, koi tree hoti hai uske roots hote hain stem hota hai tree hote hain waise hi stem cell se alag alag cheeze banti hain so at some uh, developmental level there is a defect and it gets transformed into the malignant clone so if it is not treatable with chemotherapy alone we may have to consider somebody else's marrow हमारा हमारे बॉडी में ल्यूकेमिया या फिर कोई भी मेलेग्नेंसी क्यों होती है सो बेसिकली वी नीड टू नो द रीजन बिकॉज अवर ओन डिफेंस मैकेनिज्म इज नॉट एबल टू गेट ओवर द ल्यूकेमिक क्लोन अवर ओन स्टेम सेल्स और इन द पाथवे वॉट एवर अदर्स लाइक डब्ल्यू बी सी एनी डब्ल्यू बी सी गेट गेट्स अ डिफेक्ट एंड टर्नस मैलिग्नेंट एंड इट इज नॉट अमेनेबल टू बी removed by our own natural killer cells or other defense mechanisms that is where the role of bone marrow transplant comes like we are going to give somebody else hematopoietic stem cell system which has which can which possibly can tackle the malignancy in somebody else so that is one of the mechanisms that we use so there are so many misconceptions about bone marrow transplant that how it is done whether there are there is a surgery involved or not so uh, i will uh, tell it in a two ways see there are it's very simple it's very complicated meaning thereby the process seems to be very very easy particularly if you see from the top like bone marrow transplant what we do basically is if somebody has to be transplanted if somebody for example let us take a example of leukemia in the disease is high risk and we have to do a bone marrow transplant after taking the patient into remission so i'll explain it in a easy way so we have to select a donor so before coming to the donor there are the types of transplant we should know that what are the types of bone marrow transplant so they can be autologous transplant so it is also a misnomer it is not a autologous transplant it is just it is called as autosomal stem cell rescue because in some patients the chemotherapy if you give very high dose of chemotherapy those 
diseases can be cured by that only but as you all know that high dose chemotherapy has got its own complications and adverse effects so if you give very high risk chemotherapies or radiotherapy all your stem cells can be damaged so in autologous transplant what we do is a patient when a patient comes to us we give some chemotherapy bring patients into remission and we collect good stem cells from the patient himself so those stem cells we collect and preserve after that we give a very high dose of chemotherapy to destroy whatever remaining cells after giving that high dose chemotherapy we give back whatever stem cells we had collected earlier so that is called as a autologous transplant yes in a way it is much easier compared to the allogenic transplants i'll come to allogenic transplant little later so like because we don't have to deal with the other immune system it is your own stem cells which were better after treatment which we have given back after giving a very high dose chemotherapy and we wait for 2 to 3 months for a good recovery so that is autologous transplant but in some diseases in many diseases rather where the stem cells are defective like there are so many diseases in children particularly thalassemia sickle cell where the stem cells are a problem they give rise to a diff, diff, a clone where lifelong blood transfusion is necessary for example or a leukemia which is very high risk leukemia which cannot be managed by autologous their stem cells are defective there are so many leukemias in children for example if you dis discuss at the stem cell level like juvenile myelomonas regular there are a stem cell disorder so in such diseases autologous transplant doesn't suffice so we need to look at the patient and a donor so whenever we get such case we always see a good donor so what is a good donor first so the it's a the if it's a full match so we always check about the matching status of a donor for example if in a family there are three to four siblings there is a good chance that both the one of the siblings may be a full match so the matching we uh, check by hla so uh, it's a, a genetic test which we do for both the patient and the donor which see how much hla is matched so a b c there are different low side i think it's a, uh, it may not be discussed in this but yes hla uh, we match and we see if there is a match it's very good if it's a 100% match that is we call as match sibling donor transplant or match related transplant if there is no not a proper match like 100% match but there is a 50% so parents are always a 50% match to the patient there are some chances where like very less 1 to 2% or 5% that parent can be full match also sometimes but 50% because some um, one gene comes from the father and one from mother so they are 50% match and particularly in malignant diseases the last over the last 10 years the 50% match transplants are working as good as 100% donor 100% match transplant so donor is not an issue in the current scenario so we select a donor depending on the condition what disease there are so many factors to select a donor so we select a donor a patient once the donor and patients are selected we do some tests on them because for the not only for the matching purpose but yes is the donor fit for giving stem cells after that we decide a conditioning protocol so uh, whenever we have to do a transplant we have to kill whatever remaining cells are there so that body accepts whatever is being given from outside our body human body is the nature is like that our body doesn't accept somebody else stem cells or somebody else anything for that we need to prepare a ground so we select some conditioning regimen which is which consists of so many drugs which are a uh, toxic which are toxic drugs stem cell toxic drugs we kill the remaining stem cells in the patient we collect stem cells from the donor by giving some gcsf or some pleric there are some medications to to be given to donor which are perfectly safe for just for 4 to 5 days in some transplants we don't give also if we opt for the tagos type of transplants we collect stem cells and we give the stem cells on day 0 that is called as a transplant day and after that we wait for the count recovery 
so uh, uh, as i told prime fascia it seems that it's a very easy process but yes there are lot of complications associated we have to manage the patients on w0 wbc so for the non medical friends like wbcs are our main defense mechanisms if we don't have wbc count we are vulnerable to so many infections you must have heard of uh, uh, so jaise aapne covid ke bare mein suna hai immuno deficiency koi bhi कोई भी डिसीज़ फॉर दैट मैटर अगर इम्यूनो डिफिशेंसी है हमारे डिफेंस मैकेनिज्म खुद का अच्छा नहीं है तो इन्फेक्शन के चांसेस काफी ज्यादा होते हैं सेम इन्फेक्शन जो जिनका इम्यूनिटी अच्छा होता है उनमें कुछ नहीं करेगा बट इफ द इम्यून मैकेनिज्म इज डैम्पन और इट्स नॉट वर्किंग प्रॉपरली इट कैन बी लेफ्ट सो ट्रांसप्लांट इज सच एनरियो